so good of you to come today, join us in this uh, panel. And I'd love to know a little bit more about you. Uh, I know you're a doctor, but uh, tell us about that doctorship. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, my name is Savantis Lee. I grew up uh, in the more like a real estate, uh, traditional. I like real estate. When I do more real estate, I encounter a lot of retail and restaurants. So that's why every time I'm fascinated about how do they run the kitchen, how do they uh, run the sales. So I get to know more about where, how restaurant can perform. So I came to a restaurant education school at USC and doing my doctor dissertation to helping a school called UNLB, Hospitality College, to create a multi-unit fast casual restaurant curriculum. So I'm very honored to be interviewed by Bob today. Thank you. Well, as I said, you're very welcome to be here and we're very excited to hear what you have to say today. Um, speaking about multi-unit uh, restaurants, what are some of the main challenges that they're facing today? Now, during the pandemic, we see actually uh, multi-unit actually perform a little better because they know how to utilize the data, how to use third-party delivery. They know also have better uh, talent to help them transform their business compared to the independent restaurants. So during the pandemic, we learned everything is about data. Particularly right now, we have a lot of deliveries. We have a lot of third-party operations. We're collaborating with them. We also have a, a more powerful POS, point of sale system, to assist operation, to analyze operation for the whole restaurant uh, uh, stores. Mm, very interesting. So how do, can data scientists help to resolve these challenges in the industry? A lot of time, people think data science is a, the software for everything. But I actually want to put back a little bit because people know in the restaurant, we have a lot of data. But the challenge is we actually don't know how to collect them in an efficient way. So data science, a lot of people working in a big restaurant company like the Starbucks or down left, a, a, a ton of data science. When you make a, look at a smaller restaurant company, number one, they cannot afford. Number two, they don't know which solution to, to utilize. Number three, they always buy, try to find a plug and play solution. Actually, there's no such thing so far yet for the industry. But that's why I think data science is a growing industry in all type of internet sector, a lot of service sector right now. The restaurant, we still need more people uh, from data science coming to this field. A lot of people even think uh, the future of restaurant is a restaurant technology company. You think about the uh, Domino Pizza, all the data everywhere. Like the Starbucks, your app, you're ordering everywhere. You even give them your free flow to them. You top up $25 every time you use up below $5, for example. So that's why I think data science really can help the industry getting better and actually elevate the industry and everybody get a much better pay. Mm -hmm. And that's why my ambition to be a restaurant educator, if I could be, and to, to promote a restaurant uh, business analytics and data science in the field. And so uh, expanding on that, what are some of the biggest benefits of applying data analytics in the restaurant industry? Yeah, I think one of the biggest benefits is actually um, traditional restaurants are artistic for the chef, and then they have a lot of guts feel. So if I ask you what's your best um, um, server, you may guess wrong. If I ask you what's the best food items uh, matching with your uh, best food sales, you may guess wrong. So right now, a lot of people really want to stay in, uh, slow down, look at the POS system, look at the data, really about real world information from there, and use that information to produce a meaningful mm -hmm. business insight to make decisions. That's why I think uh, data really can help the restaurant to get more critical information right and to get business decision right. So that's why I think it's a very good support function in the restaurant company to help the digital maker to make decisions. Are there any downsides to applying data analytics in the restaurant business? Yeah, yeah. It, I think there's a lot of downside. For sure, a lot of people talk about that. Um, if you don't know how to collect data, and then uh, when you put the data people in your restaurant, uh, you, you get confused because you lose the, the real feeling about hospitality. You want to know how you serve people. Instead of just measuring what is your sales per head, per server, sales per table. So you got to literally measure everything. And your servers, I'm in the restaurant and service industry, why you always measure me on every, every aspect? So that's why when you 
really want to utilize data, you need to let the real, real uh, frontline officer, frontline servers to have a, a support buying why this is good for them. For example, you talk about if you do this, you actually you can work less hour and produce higher income. Oh, maybe they like it. But you, that's the simple information to get to that. I'm not trying to cut your labor hour because we use data say, oh, this is the uh, low sell time, downtime. I don't want to be in a restaurant. But tell them, why well, you to get full rest? When you come in the evening time, in the peak hour, you actually get more pay, get more tips. So they love enjoy coming in. That's why I think data, if you use it right, can really help you uh, deliver a better organization to serve in your restaurant customers. That's very interesting. And then about supply chain, how do you think that data analytics supplies or affects the supply chain for restaurants? Yeah, I think the supply chain, that's a system probably being utilized for 10 years. For example, if I sell 100 burgers, I know how much ground beef how it be consumed. So in my kitchen system, they can automatically order or even if predict next week we have a labor labor uh, labor the holiday, we know we'll produce more whatever sells. So you can order more. So that's a system I think developed in the last decade. So the automatic supply chain systems, you can automatically link to your supplier to deliver the the, the raw material to to your kitchen. Yeah. Very good. And then what are some of the most effective and efficient data solutions that can be implemented? Well, that's a big question. I think for independent versus big um, chain store, um, there's no one solution per se. Um, there's a lot of different point of sale system, also a lot of different um, uh, solution company for different aspect of function. Sometimes there are also big SI system integration company to help you. So it depends on where's your stage, where's your face, how is corporate budget, and also the, how is the uh, the buying finalization really need to big support. Right now, I would suggest, or I would imagine, because during the pandemic, people think uh, restaurant technology everywhere, so big data promoter should be CEO. Yeah, if you don't get buying from the CEO, you actually need to move a lot of organization. Because once every of your data decision right now, when you scale up, it's always organization behavior. Yeah, how do you motivate uh, your phone office servers, your uh, back of kitchen uh, staff, your, your kitchen manager? How do they believe data really help in their life, helping their customers? Because you're taking care of employee, employee you're taking care of your guests. So that's why you want them to buy in from the top or the everybody below. Yeah, that's really my, my vision for the future of restaurant industry. So how has the pandemic impacted the data analytics in the restaurant industry? Wow, that's a very good question. Um, actually, pandemic uh, through the data analytics, data side really changed a lot of restaurant industry in the past 18 months. For example, the most obvious is the digital deliveries, a lot of third party. And then before pandemic, probably around 5% uh, people utilize uh, restaurants to do online order, online delivery. The peak probably 30 to 40 percent. Right now we recess a little bit. Yeah, in the last two months opening up. So data has really changed. Number one, delivery. Number two, about the media, social media. How do you marketing? In the past, we have people go to your uh, institution building, office tower to give a lot away the flyer. Right now, no more. People use social media. You use social media on the Facebook, on the TikTok, in the IG. Right now, they even uh, promote on the Discord. For middle school students, for restaurant company, you see a lot of restaurant company try to be the first TikTok promoter on the TikTok platform. So that's something we saw, not so, uh, we didn't anticipate before pandemic, but right now we, we, we got more wild acceptance. And during the pandemic, restaurant people really know that's a must, they, not, they need to adapt, they need to be part of it. They cannot, so I'm shy away from it. Once you shy away, and your uh, physical in-store was up, up and shut down, because different um, different um, Delta variants coming again. So it's very difficult to operate your restaurant. So that's why uh, we actually learn more from the process. Also during the reopening up period in the last two months, we find a huge labor shortage uh, for restaurant uh, industry employees. So that's something a lot of people think about how do we continue to utilize a digital channel? Even you are a sit down restaurant, how can you Continue utilize the digital channel to deliver self instead of counting on your floor, 
counting a lot of server on the floor to serve because you cannot even find people. So that's why during the pandemic, people learn about how restaurant industry can, can continue embrace the digital technology, but your data science, how can they help you to produce meaningful business insight to make business decisions? Yeah, thank you. What resources would you recommend to people wanting to know more about the restaurant industry? Yeah, yeah, the restaurant industry, uh, data science is actually a big emerging trend, particularly for curriculum design. People want to know how um, computer science, restaurant, um, business analytic people can help the restaurant industry. A lot of schools, like the one I'm helping, UNLV, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, we, we try to design with a donation from uh, Mr. Panda Express couples. They give us an endowment to produce uh, the, the uh, multi-union fast casual restaurant uh, curriculum. We'll be launching uh, next September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's an area people combine the uh, computer science, uh, MIS management information system, uh, and then to the restaurant operation. So the three forces combine together to helping the industry to continue uh, involved to serving more people in a better way, in a more efficient way. So that's why I, I think the, the restaurant curriculum in the business analytics will be a major trend across all hospitality college in the next three to five years. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. And the Mr. Panda Express, actually the first donated school uh, to create that curriculum will be the first multi fast casual uh, curriculum effort uh, to be developed in the, in the academic setting. What discussions about restaurant analytics do you think needs to have more light shed on it? Yeah, that's a, a very good question. People traditionally use guts to analyze the restaurant operation challenges because they think we should do this, do that. But actually, restaurant analytics is actually already data there. It's probably 30% or 50% of the data already in your POS, point of sale system. But people do not sit down to analyze. For example, what's your day part sales? What's your uh, labor hours? Uh, what's the best performance sales per head on your uh, servers? why some items are not selling on your menus. So there's a lot of data, but people don't slow down to look at that uh, consistently. So that's why I feel restaurant business analytics is area we should promote more, but not to say it's a big barrier. People are scared, oh, it's computer science. No, it's no code. You just look at uh, Excel, but using a dashboard format, easy for you as a store manager, even the owner to sit down with your staff to analyze and discuss it. Similar to a uh, uh, hospitality the other front hotel, we have a star report, STR report. Yeah, let's already be utilized in the marketing cell every, everywhere, room booking for the uh, hotel employee. But in the restaurant industry, we know we don't have that data. We don't we have that data, but we are not discussed among our employees. Our employee was not really part of our discussion to how to enhance your restaurant operation to data. So I really encourage a uh, restaurant owner, if some information you feel they are actually part of the team, but share them more about the idea, how efficient the restaurant could be, and based on the data to make a decisions. And your every employee can be part of that. Yeah, that's I really my, my hope for the industry. Dr. Lee, you're going to serve as one of our distinguished judges in our upcoming competition. Uh, called Developing an Analytics Dashboard to Improve Restaurant Performance. Is there any advice you'd like to give our contestants uh, as they prepare their submissions? Yeah, thank you so much for that question. First of all, I want to thank you for organizing IMDS uh, from BOM, your organization, to invite me to be able to share about my idea about the restaurant business analytics. Number two, ask me about advice to the <laughs> for, for the uh, computer science uh, data analytic professional. My, just my humble idea is really about you can sit down in a restaurant to observing how people operate, how, how, how the server, how about the frontline cashier to interact with business customers. And also even maybe your mom, how do they commit, uh, communicate with your mom? So observing more to come up with a solution not to scare people. To really think about the way you are creating the tool to helping the frontline uh, 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 restaurant employee to serve their customer to their guests. So that's why I really encourage business analytic computer science professional really to sit down in the restaurant to observe, to come out a solution not to intimidate them. It's actually helping them to be more powerful, have that encouragement to look at the data and to come out not just guts, 
with guts and data supported decision making philosophy to make business decisions. So that really encourage and I really hope the future of our restaurant, even though it's business analytic driven, but it still have a lot of hospitality natures. We still want to say hi, how are you doing today? When you walk into the customer, do you want this? Do you want that? You still ask questions and you get to know more about your customers. And that's why I really hope we can have a more friendly, uh, data analytic driven operation, but still with the human touch for well, hospitality nature in the restaurant industry. Dr. Lee, what is the best career advice that you can give someone looking to enter this field? Yeah, uh, thank you, Bob, for the question. If you are describing how business analytic people want to enter in the restaurant field, number one, I won't say thank you, because most business analytic people want to go work for internet company. So they can <laughs> make more money in the industry. Uh, and then if you ask me what's the area they can focus and continue to equip them better in the industry for restaurant through the analytic uh, lens of their professional. One is uh, focus on their study at school on the business decision, like economics, statistics, business decision. Because you are circling around the business decision, even use analytic approach, computer science method to, to understand the challenge, but still make decision, produce business insight. So having a good solid business decision making process through economic training is very, very important. Number two, I would encourage more of our computer science major business analytic people to look at the uh, operation of restaurants. Look at, go to the restaurant, uh, sit down in the in-out burger, to sit there for one hour, uh, look at the cashier, look at the drive through land, look at the one who cut the potato like this, who's doing the burger. So that's why we, we could have more uh, to observing the industry. So that's why I really encourage and thank you for analytic people going to spend the effort and treat restaurant as one of the good career choice in the restaurant industry. The more you spend there, as is the better you deliver, perform much better because we uh, we have very little uh, talent in the restaurant. We call out for as an educator in the future helping the UNLV. We really want more uh, data science people really to not just focus on internet company. Look at the restaurant this the biggest consumption item food. We almost have ten percent of our labor force in the, in the U.S., but we don't have the data science working in the field. So that's why I really thank you for the willing to understand more about the industry. And then we need your help to elevate our restaurant, to make people a better living, elevate their lifestyle. Thank you so much. No, I agree, and you're very welcome. You've given us a wealth of information, Dr. Lee, and we're so thankful. So in conclusion, is there anything else that you would like to mention that we haven't discussed today? Yeah, um, thank you for the time spent with Bob today. I really appreciate that. And then I would rather just follow Dr. LSU, the founder of INDS Group. Uh, a lot of data, we always always talk about it, but really to have your heart, not just on data, on the real people, utilize the data. How can the data science equip to better serve the people in the restaurant industry? That need a lot of passion because you, you know restaurant can afford high pay. But if you work in a big restaurant company, but very few of them, only like a, a Starbucks, McDonald's working in the headquarters. But other than headquarters job, that we call support center in the restaurant industry, there are a lot of people in the field. They may not, they, they may be working under the, the poverty line. You try to, to, to learn more about why you can help them. You can be more resourceful to them to help them elevate their life. So that's why we, we are a data science. I'm, I'm still learning. I really learned from the, the competition. I really want to thank you, IMD, to host this. I think it's one of the first large-scale restaurant based analytic competition. Also, we are fortunate to have UNLV uh, 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 Food and Beverage Department Chair, Dr. Professor uh, Lima, Joseph Lima, to be our uh, judge to participate and give us a keynote uh, in our um, IMDS uh, competition conference. So we, sh we encourage more people, more data people helping the restaurant. Even if you are much higher pay, but if you help the industry get higher pay, you still get higher pay. <laughs> so thank you for you willing to spend time uh, in the restaurant industry. I really thank you as an educator for restaurant. I really thank you. Really thank you for INDS. And then we wish we will have a meaningful data science competitions. We look forward to see all of you. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, very much for participating in our competition. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. We'll see you next time. Yes.